Jesus, there's a reason I can't handle heights. Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review The Walk. The Walk is directed by Robert Zemeckis and the movie does star Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Ben Kingsley. And what The Walk is about is that it's based on the true story of this French man named Philippe who wants to walk the wire on the two towers because it's never been done before. He's very passionate about it. But he can't do this without the help of some people and they have to do it without them getting caught because it is very illegal. So with the help of some of the crew members, Philippe is gonna pull off walking the wire on the two towers. So going into the walk, I was really looking forward to this movie because it is directed by Robert Zemeckis. And not only is Robert Zemeckis one of the best directors working today, but he is very underrated. With The Walk, I wanted to see how Robert Zemeckis can tell the story, and then you have Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who pulls off a French accent, so I was looking forward to seeing how he would do that too, and just how this overall storyline was going to be told, and after seeing The Walk, it is honestly one of the best movies I've seen this year. I was blown away by this movie. From the storytelling to how Robert Zemeckis put the visual effects to blend with the reality to the performances and just how it was told was so impressive. Robert Zemeckis is a genius. He really directs this movie with such a cool and very fun style to it. With the story, Robert Zemeckis did want you to have Fun with it because this movie surprisingly had a lot of humor that actually really worked for me. I like that this was a light-hearted movie but you could still get behind this true story of this Frenchman wanting to walk up the wire and that's just due to the brilliance of Robert Zemeckis' direction as well as the writing. The movie looks incredible very amazing cinematography and all the performances in all honesty were really good. Joseph Gordon-Levitt does a fantastic job in this movie and I think he honestly does a great job for a French accent because I know that's not easy to do. So to Joseph Gordon-Levitt's credit, not only does he pull off the French accent very well in my opinion, but he does a very great job of capturing the life of this man that was really passionate to actually walk up on that wire, which is really insane. And all the other performances, like from Ben Kingsley, who is really in the first half of this movie, but he still did a really good job for the role he had. I really love the actress that played Philippe's love. You bought that they truly care for each other. You bought that the both of them have dreams that they follow. And you can see that Philippe's love really admires and respects the passion that he has just to walk on a wire, which is something that Holy crap. Seriously, you guys, one of my biggest fears are indeed heights. I can't stand heights. If I look down, man, that's not good for me. So when I watch this movie, I literally get anxiety. It's just insane. In my opinion, I actually loved the first half as much as the second half. The first half was all about Philippe meeting his love interest and Ben Kingsley telling him the ways to walk on the wire and the equipment he needs to make sure the wire stays still. The first half kept me fascinated and I was never bored once. There's not a dull moment in the walk. I did really like Philippe's team. I thought they were very likable. I really enjoyed them. Sure, they're not developed or anything like that, but I still cared about the characters. I still got behind them and the fact that they were willing to help him pull off such a stunt is truly incredible. And it really impresses me how Robert Zemeckis is able to blend reality with the visuals. That's something Robert Zemeckis doesn't get enough credit for because the fact that they had to actually recreate the Twin Towers is 
it blows me away in all honesty. And sure, yes, you can notice the visuals like maybe just a few times, but honestly, it's not a distraction because I'm just so fascinated on the visuals with the walk. I really was just so transported into this world. And then of course, when you get to the climax of the walk, holy shit! I was actually going, <sighs> Throughout, of course, I try not to do it too loud because of the audience around me, but man, I couldn't help but just breathe in and out throughout the climax. And I actually had to grab my chest, you guys, because I thought I was gonna get a heart attack. The climax was very believable. It actually looked like Joseph Gordon Levitt was on that wire so Hi. It was fascinating. It was beautiful. And very funny too. There were actually funny moments going on during the climax as well without getting into any details. There are however a couple of flaws I did have with the walk but they're not large flaws however they're just tiny flaws. One of my flaws is that there are a couple of crew members that really did not have to be in this movie. They felt really pointless. Like there's this guy that gets high and I don't think he was really necessary for the group in all honesty. I did feel like he was the most pointless. I did really love the narration that Joseph Gordon Levitt brings. I can understand why that's a distraction to some people but I love the narration. However, I will say there are just a few times where you really don't need the narration from Joseph Gordon Levitt. Overall you guys, the Walk is one of the best movies I've seen in 2015. I love this movie so much. Robert Zemeckis has done it again. Great direction, great acting, great visual effects, amazing storytelling. Love the first half and how it built up to the second half. And then when you just get to the climax, it just has my heart pounding. So The Walk is most definitely going to get my highest rating four out of four stars so you guys in the comments down below let me know what did you think of the walk and what's your favorite film from robert zemeckis this is 22 tiger dude here and don't forget that i will always have tiger power